<laughs> Just kidding. Full house. Yeah. What a show. Wow, thank you guys. This is awesome. Awesome in this We're so excited to have your guys here in Salt Lake. How are you liking Utah so far? Um, I actually uh, lived in Salt Lake for eight months when I was shooting Everwood. And, and I loved it. And I was telling her how much I loved it. So, yeah. Awesome. Oh, what's your first impression of our little fan experience here? Well, they're, they're awfully loud, and I like it. I like that. Good decibel levels. <laughs> well, I got the honor of the first question. You guys have been working together for quite a while on the show. You've kind of been going in more of the directing field now. How does, how's that? Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, uh, not last, uh, the week before. Um, I, I do like it a lot. Yeah, it, it's amazing. I'm, I'm really proud of it. And it's, um, I hate to say, but I actually kind of like it a little more than acting <laughs> right now. Which is, um, I don't know, I'm really enjoying it, so I hope, I hope to do more next year. Well, if you guys want to hear from me, let's start with questions. Here we go. Hi, I'm Alyssa. Here. <laughs> hey, here you are. Um, so my question is, what, let's say if God forbid Stefan's character was to be officially killed off. What? <laughs> well, you know how often they kill people off and bring them back. But um, if you could have a choice of how it was done and who it would be, what would it be? Um, I think Stefan should make the choice himself take off his daylight ring and walk into the sun. story than Twilight. Yeah, hair. Uh, do I get broody sometimes? What about you? Do you have anything oh, in no. common with your character Haley? Um, do I have anything in common with Haley? No, I think Haley is a lot, uh, I'm, I'm a lot more clumsy. Haley is able to actually kind of walk around on her two feet at the same time as kind of <laughs> kicking and screaming and punching. I can't even walk in a straight line without falling over most of the time. I'm sure you've seen that YouTube video. Cut, cut, cut out the, um, cut down on the alcohol. Girl's yeah. <laughs> gonna get through, you know. Great, <laughs> next question. Hello. Hi, Paul, this is Kirsta. My question was, can you do your sexiest vampire face for everyone here? <laughs> I'll do you one better. I'll do you. I'll, I'll do the. <laughs> Hi I'll do my sexy Ian Summerholder face. You ready? I haven't seen um, Twilight. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, 
I didn't not see it because I have a problem with it. I just I actually saw uh-huh. parts of maybe the first one, but I, I, it's hard for me to say. Have you seen it? Yeah, um, I've seen it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, all, all of them? Well, our vampires, they don't, um, there's no glittery situation. I think our vampires are a little darker. I don't know. Maybe. Especially Nikolaus. Nikolaus. That's all you have to say, <laughs> just the name. <laughs> Hi, my name's Tia. And Paul, I was just wondering, if, um, I know that you recently directed the episode like we talked about, but I know that Ian is directing one right now and how your experience has been with him directing. And Pray, Phoebe, pray I- for us all. <laughs> No, and Phoebe, you're sorry I cut you off. You said something about Phoebe? No, go ahead. Sorry. And Phoebe, I was just wondering who you would like to see cross over from the Vampire Diaries over to the originals. I should say... Um, <laughs> uh, Catherine. I think it's a safe, a safe bet. Although I think she died. But she could come back as, you know, in another body, I think maybe. Everybody has died. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know I have. Hi, my name's Echo. Um, so, Paul, who was your favorite actor like, to work with? Who was your favorite to work with? Uh, um, I don't really like any, working with any of the actors. <laughs> They're all terrible. Um, I, I, I mean, only because we're in a romantic relationship, um, Daniel Gillies and I probably, uh, I might be a little biased because of our romance, but I, I do think he's a good actor. And I like Alaric. Did you guys, did you guys know that Alaric is from Salt Lake City? But he's not here, sucker. He's missing out. Okay, um, hi, I'm Lily, and I wanted to know if um, Stefan and Caroline will ever become an item. Uh, <clears throat> I know that, like, half the people want that and half don't, but I, unfortunately for those who don't want that, I think you'll be disappointed. Huh. Is happening. <laughs> They're gonna get down and dirty. Hi, um, this is for Paul. I was just wondering what your favorite scene out of the whole series has been. Um, I do have one scene that I really well, I actually have two. Um, the first one is when um, Elena doesn't know that I'm a vampire in season one, and it's that. <clears throat> moment where he finally reveals it to her and he turns around and she sees the veins on his face and touches him and says it's okay. I thought that was a really beautiful scene and then um, I mean selfishly the ones that I've been in uh, <laughs> are my favorite scenes of course um, and then the one where I was the ripper in 1920s and I was making it's so awful I was making that poor guy drink his wife's blood <laughs> That's so evil. I love it. <laughs> what about Phoebe? Do you have a favorite scene that you've shot throughout the series? Favorite scene? Um, it was pretty morbid, but it was it was so much leading up to the moment. I think like the birth scene was kind of fun. And there was so much happening. There was, you know, throats being cut and witches chanting. It was like a whole season of our show in like 14 minutes. Um, and we got to meet Baby Hope, who's the cutest thing in the entire world. Do they have one Baby Hope that no, plays twins. Baby Hope? They're little twins. They're called Charlie and Blake. And Charlie is, um, one's kind of naughtier than the other, so <laughs> we kind of switch them out when, um, when they get fussy. But they're really cute. We've had them pretty much the last kind of whole season, so they're really cute. But yeah, twins. Do you, do you feel a maternal bond? With the babies? Yeah. And now they don't cry, I can pick them up and calm them down. And yeah, I don't think, I think sometimes they think I'm mum, but um, I can't give them what they, what they think they want from mum. <laughs> oh.
Hi, um, my question is for Paul. Are other characters going to be directing episodes <clears throat> like you have? <clears throat> Unfortunately, Damon. Um, I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, 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 I do a lot of sarcasm, but Ian's actually in the middle of directing an episode right now. He's, he's, he's doing a really, really nice job, and I've really been enjoying it a lot. He's really... Um, What's the right word? Enthusiastic, and he's like, he, he's he's kind of on a high right now. He feels he's so excited. I I, I don't know how his episode's gonna turn out, but <laughs> I have I have high hopes. I have high hopes. No, no, no. I mean, you never know, but I have high hopes. <laughs> and I just want to say, like, I love you both, like in Vampire Diaries and in H2O also. But my question's for Paul. In an alternate universe, if you were a vampire, would you be more like your Ripper self or your vegetarian sweet Stefan self? <laughs> <laughs> vegetarian. <laughs> well, he eats like rabbits. That's not completely vegetarian, right? Or does he just does he does Stefan eat rabbits? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thanks for knowing me. Or something, right? Something ridiculous. Um. I. Uh, I I'd be <laughs> Stefan the vegan vampire. That's I'm not I, I'm not vegetarian, but um, I suppose I don't know. I guess there's something <laughs> nice about um, biting into necks, but only if they're attractive females. Stefan um, only focus in on that. <laughs> so no dudes, no dudes. Never dudes. Hi, my name is Kaylee. Um, if, or for both of you, if you could go back in time and change anything, what would you change? And for Phoebe, was it hard to learn how to swim in that tail? <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, we all, all three of us had to do six weeks of scuba diving training um, and learn how to hold our breath. And that was before fancy stunt women could do things for us. We had to do a lot of it ourselves. <laughs> so we really had to learn how to, um, yeah, really hold our breath underwater and um, really kind of, we were kind of trained like athletes because those tails were huge. I think they were like seven foot or so. I mean, they were so big and we were little tiny 16 year old girls. So um, yeah, we really had to train hard. Claire was like, top of her like swimming team. I mean, she had no training that she had to do, but Kariba and I, these little scrawny like dancer girls, um, had to do a lot of training. <laughs> what was the tail made of? It was like, I don't think it was like a silicon situation, but it actually was a zipper, which was kind of really, I don't know, mundane. And you think it would be some kind of cool way to, it was just, you'd lie on your stomach, and they'd have a big old zip up the back of you, and then they'd roll you into the water, literally. <laughs> <just> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the things we do. I know. Yeah. <laughs> what was your question for me? I forgot. Um, if you could go back in time and change anything, what would it be? In my real life? Well, I just slipped on a patch of ice yesterday, <laughs> walking to my car. I wish I could not have taken that route. <laughs> Phoebe. Um, <laughs> I look up to my uh, grandfather, probably the most. He, uh, yeah, he's like a hero to me. That's a, yeah. Phoebe, who are some of the role models in your life? Sorry? Who are some of your role models? Yeah, please. I have to say you now. <laughs> it's a given. And Daniel Gillies. <laughs> Who's more? What? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, really? Who do you look up to? Um, my mom. Yeah, probably my mom. That's a good. That's a good answer. For the record, before I ask, I do watch Vampire Diaries. Yes. Are you are you forced to watch it, or do you watch it willingly? My girlfriend got me into it, and now I watch it without her. So. <laughs> <laughs> She's still catching up. Um, my, 
question was, though, I'm more interested in your role in role balance. Oh, <laughs> oh God. No one knows. No one probably knows, but I just want to know how. It they don't know for a reason, okay, dude? <laughs> Quit blowing up my spot, man. Um, for those of you who don't know, my friend over here just pointed out. <laughs> my friend. They did, they did this movie. Um, well, like. I don't know. I think if you guys watched it, you may not like come to my next Q and A potentially. Um, I play a nineteen seventies disco skater, uh, which is great. I wear like like I'm not even kidding. I wear this like one piece glittery like dancing suit, and, um, and really it's, it's me and like little bow wow. <laughs> And, uh, I, it's actually a great movie, um, but yeah, I look like an idiot. Thanks. It takes a real man to pull off something Sugar like that. Sugar Shay. Netflix. <laughs> I was wondering when you were directing episodes, if you have like an assistant director, if you take nods from the cast, or how that works with scenes you're in. Phoebe was my assistant director. I'd fetch um, coffee. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of directing is uh, when you're an actor and you're directing, you have to rely on every other every other um, person on the crew because you have to act at the same time. So yeah, there's an AD, but more so there's a DP, which is a director of photography, who is really kind of running the show, and you just make little decisions here and there. But the DP is the most important, I think. But who said action the first time? Oh, I, I was afraid to say action. I, I was intimidated. I've been, you know, I've been acting for so long, and um, it was my first scene as a director. And, uh, and they were like, okay, camera, we're rolling. Okay, we're ready. And then the AD looks at me and says, like, okay, action, whenever you're ready, just say action. And I was like, uh, and I was like, you say it, you say it. And she was like, uh, okay, action. <laughs> I was like, I'll say it next time. I was so nervous. <laughs> Ian told me that he forgot to say it. They were like, okay, whatever you're ready, Ian, and he's just standing there. <laughs> you have to say action. He's like, oh, that's right, I'm the director. Action! <laughs> um, hi, my name's Camilla, and I love you both. And thank you for coming to Salt Lake City. My question is for the both of you, since we're here geeking out about you, <laughs> both of you, um, what's the nerdiest thing that you guys... Or what's something that you guys are obsessed with? <clears throat> so, <laughs> once upon a time, I lined up. Not the TV show, Once Upon a Time. <laughs> no, I was about 11 years old, and I lined up for about four and a half hours at the Crossroads premiere to meet Britney Spears. Woo! <laughs> yeah. And I, yeah, so I think that was like the most geeked out, like committed that I've ever been. Yeah. That's so lame. <laughs> Is that Brittany? Uh, um, <laughs> shoot, what's geeky? Uh, God, what is? Uh, I don't care about anything. I don't care about anything. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, I am kind of obsessed with, um, Ice hockey? Um, Woo! Yeah. And yeah. Thanks. And um, I, um, I, 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 I met this uh, hockey player uh, that I was obsessed with, uh, coincidentally, in an elevator. Uh, I was a little kid, and I saw him, and I mean, I, I'll never forget. His, his name's, I don't know if he doesn't play anymore. His name's Brett Hull. He's, yeah. And I was... Like a little girl. I mean, sorry. Like, I felt like, you know, I don't know. I felt like I just seen like Ian Somerhalder or something. Like, it's amazing. Or Daniel Gillies in a suit. Um, yeah, I, I like almost had a uh, heart attack. Um, My name is Lily, and I was wondering if. You want Stefan and Elena to end up together in Vampire Diaries? Both of you? I feel like... I, I feel like there's so many kind of Damon and Elena fans that I feel like... 
mean, there's, there's, there's Stefan and Elena fans too, but I just feel like it'll be a dissatisfied sort of ending if one of us gets Elena. I feel like both of us should sort of like dissipate. <laughs> and then Elena should like forget everything that's ever happened and just go back to being human. Uh, that's kind of a cool poetic. No? What do you guys want? Well, you got all that? I can... Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie. Uh, oh, Bonnie doesn't know. Bonnie was with, uh, what's his name? Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> that guy. So anyway, that's my answer. Hi, I'm Morgan. My best friend Katie says hi. And have you guys seen the parody of the Vampire Diaries by Hilly Witch Show? Yeah, yeah, we should, we saw it um, with the masquerade ball. Yeah, yeah, we actually we saw it like a long time ago. And I think those girls um, actually moderate some panels. So yeah, we see that a bunch. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Joey. My little sister's a big fan. Um, but I was just wondering, because you guys are kind of weird. Um, have you guys ever, like, what's the weirdest or strangest or funniest thing you've done off of this, like, off of the screen, like, on set? It's so funny. She's like, you guys are a little weird, so. <laughs> Shit, do you do a helmet? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Love it. Oh. <laughs> what do you do that's weird, Phoebe? <laughs> You're a weirdo. You are a weirdo. I mean. You're weird. <laughs> weirdo. Uh, what's. Okay, on. Like, within the boundaries of, like, set, I think the weirdest thing, and I don't think I think of this because I did it before I came here. Someone on set did something, and I can't say what they did, but to apologize, they bought me this um, thing of Nutella, and it's this, this big, and it's in my room, hidden, so no one can find it. And it's really hard to have that much Nutella in your room, but now I just have um, a jar of spoons next to it, and I shut the door, and I just sit there with the spoon, straight into the, it's like this big, and wait till someone knocks on my door and says you're disgusting, you've got chocolate over your face, get on set. This is like the weirdest thing when I drop. Wow. He was not kidding. Um, I like it, it's weird. I don't know. Sometimes I do weird things like um, I have too much downtime and instead of doing something like productive, like reading a book <coughs> or like doing, I like Google or YouTube videos of like <laughs> yeah. Um, no, like a weird, like, uh, you know what I do? I kind of do what Daniel Gillies does. I Google um, animal friendships. <laughs> and like, the deer and the uh, coyote are best friends. Look at them run, and I'll be like, oh. and I'll watch that for a long time. What was the thing you walked in on, Daniel? Um, Googling. <laughs> he, uh, he walked in and he was Googling something. What was it? I think it was something like unlikely animal best friends. <laughs> <laughs> it, was like, it was like the door was shut. And it wasn't like he was like doing it. was like really strange. <laughs> but it's, there's really, it's so fun. If you, if you really kind of Google unlikely animal friendships, it's so amazing. There's some amazing stuff out there. Um, there was a, um, um, I want to say it was a, uh, a lion <laughs> who was at a zoo, um, and, or maybe it was a tiger, it was a tiger, and she lost her babies. Um, babies. Yeah, she, some, something happened, and she lost her babies, and she was incredibly depressed. Um, so they took um, piglets, little piglets, and they wrapped them in tiger fur, and they gave, and they gave six, they put the six piglets in the mom's, um, chamber. <laughs> now, the 
bring them to my chamber. Babies, and they they like eat, feed from their mom, and she treats them like they're they're little tigers. I think that's so cute. You guys can Google it if you don't believe me. Um, I my question is for Phoebe. Um, my question is about Super Circle, actually. Uh, That show could have, I mean, obviously you're happy with what you're doing now, I'm assuming, but do you wish that that show could have continued? Where would you like to have seen them take the show with, if, and your character? You know, um, it, I, obviously it was such an awesome show, and I was so sad when it got cancelled, but I'm also really lucky that I'm still kind of within the same world, and witches and vampires. You know, I am still so close with Shell and Brid and Thomas and Jess, and... I think, you know, one day we're going to have to, like, get Thomas to write an episode. He used to write episodes of Secret Circle, by the way, and just give it to us. Just for fun, he'd write episodes. So, um, <laughs> I think one day we'd have to do, like, a fun little reunion, because we see each other so much out, you know, out of work anyway. Um, but it was, it was a really great show. I think by now, though, Faye would be, like, living, like, in Berlin or something. Like, I think she'd be somewhere, like, kind of quirky like that and just kind of being mean to a whole bunch of new people over there. <laughs> Berlin. Yeah, I, I, want, I just want to go to Berlin, so. Hi. Hi. This, um, this question is for Paul. Phoebe, I love you. You're amazing. Thank you. Um, I'm actually asking for my husband. When you shot... Nice. <laughs> he allowed me to come up. <laughs> he allowed you to come up. <laughs> You're allowed. <laughs> way of the peaceful warrior uh -huh. did dan millman's philosophies have any impact on your life i wish <laughs> he actually came to set um and i met him and for those of you who don't know what that is it's a pretty famous book um kind of a um it's a story about a gymnast god i'm terrible at summarizing <laughs> and it's really about like um a way of uh, this guy he gets an injury and he's sort of self-destructive but rather than becoming self-destructive he uh, decides to make himself a better person so it's kind of a zen book um, and uh, the answer to that question is no I did <laughs> I, uh, I wish I mean look I started meditating uh, four, four years ago and it's really changed my life uh, that's the only thing thanks <laughs> Um, but that's about it. Yeah. Did you like you like the movie and the book? I assume. Yeah, it's cool. Thanks for watching. Hello. Hi. Um, my question is: What if Damon had never erased Elena's memory during when he first saw her? How do you think that would have changed the story? Um. Uh, I don't know, I think she'd still be like, who's your brother? <laughs> what's, what's his name, Steven? <laughs> Stefan? I don't think it would have made any impact. She'd still go for the goods. <laughs> Thank you. wondering, when you guys were younger, for both of you, what did you want to be when you grew up? When you, grew up? Um, you know, we had occupation day in grade six. I went as a fireman, so I don't know if that was like any indication of what I wanted to be. But other than that, I didn't really, I just wanted, I don't know, I think, I didn't really want to be an actress. I, I don't know what I really wanted to do. I, I was kind of waiting for something to fall into place. I think in high school, everyone thinks they're meant to know what they want to be when they're older, and I, I had no idea. So if you don't, and you are in high school, have any idea, don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah. I, um... <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, I didn't even mean that. No. I was just pondering, and I... Anyway. Um, I wanted to be a hockey player. <laughs> But uh, that didn't work out. And to be honest, I did want to be an actor, but I didn't want to be a professional actor. I just wanted to like do it for fun. I didn't want it to be like a career. Um, 
I wanted to be an investigative journalist. Like, um, yeah, you know, like, um, you guys ever watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Woo! You know that reporter, April, who like goes and she's like, oh my god, I found the Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? And she's like, knows the secret of the Ninja Turtles. I was inspired by that as a kid. I wanted to investigate sewage. <laughs> <laughs> Meet anybody dead or alive, who would it be and why? Themselves. I know. I want to meet, I would want to meet, he's now just passed away, uh, J.D. Salinger. The infamous. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Audrey Hepburn. Come on, you can do better than that. What? Why? I'm just kidding. Hi, I'm Sophia, and my question is for Phoebe. Um, how did it feel transferring from a little kid that's shy and scared on H2O Just End Water to being a little bit of a big, bad, scary girl on Vampire Diaries? <laughs> H2O, I was 16, and I think I really was really shy and awkward, and um, I was very similar to that, that character at that age. Um, but then on, on Secret Circle and on the originals, where I do get to play a bit more of a kind of tough girl, um, it's more just, I think, in the writing, um, and it's definitely more fun to play something that's a departure of yourself. I think, if anything, I'd be closer to Cleo in real life. Um, so when I'm on the originals, I'm definitely playing a character. It's nothing really anything like who I am in real life. Um, so I guess it definitely takes a little bit more like, I don't know, imagining what that character would say or do and why they would do that, um, because it's such a departure from my own instincts. Yeah. This is for Paul. Um, what do you enjoy most about being on the show? Um, well, I mean, not to be like, you know, lame about it, but it's really great that I have, I'm sitting in a room and there's all these people that are interested in what I have to say. Or at least, or at least pretending like they're interested or, or waiting for the next panel so they want prime real estate. Um, I, uh, you know, there's a lot of actors out there that, you know, um, are very good, but they just don't get fortunate in terms of the luck. There's a lot of luck involved and they don't get on a show that has a lot of exposure. And, um, you know, I've, I've been doing this for quite some time and it's, uh, it's, you know, the more I think about it and reflect, the more I think about the sort of um, rarity of the fact that I'm on a show that is, um, has such a loyal fan base, you know. So you go to work and you feel like you're doing it for a reason. I'm sure you feel the same way. I speak for you. Oh, well, it was for you. Well, I know. I, you know. Try and cool. Thanks. Dad. Pulsa, <laughs> pulsa. Hello. Hi, my name is Casey. Do you have um, cat ears? I do. Okay. I like that. <laughs> They're not real, it's okay. No. Um, I was assume so. <laughs> Um, this question is for you, Paul. Um, is there anything you can tell us about your new show, Amir and Sam? Oh, a film. That we might not already know. Yeah, uh, I'm glad you brought it up. It's a film uh, called Amir and Sam that um, came out yesterday. And, uh, and I, I'm really proud of it. And, and I, is it playing in Salt Lake City? Oh. Isn't it on iTunes? It really? Pardon? Yeah, it's on iTunes and Amazon. It's in select cities, I think like 20 to 25 cities or so, in theaters. But it's also available on, you know, other platforms online. And um, it's a really sweet... It's a really sweet uh, uh, tale about an unlikely um, love uh, post-9-11 in New York. And it's an Iraqi immigrant who falls in love with a guy who just... Uh, a soldier who just came back from Iraq. I play the... I guess bad guy. I'm sort of a Wall Street, Wall Street investor who's um, 
corrupt, and I'm luring him in. I did the worst. That's the worst summary ever. But it's a great movie, and just check it out. It'll touch your heart, I think. It's like very heartwarming. And the actors are great in it. <laughs> Sorry guys, um, we just got some bad news. No, I'm just kidding. We, it, was, it, was, it was nothing. Hi, I just want to say how much I love you guys. You're amazing. Thank you. And uh, Phoebe, I originally fell in love with you and your acting in H2O, and I wanted to ask you, um, who was your favorite actress to work with? And other than Paul, who do I enjoy working with? And not an actress. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if, you, if there's anyone you'd like to work with in the future. Um, do you mean on H2O or on um, Originals Vampire Diaries? Was my favorite actor to work with. Uh, both, actually. Oh. Um, <laughs> well, who's... You know, I've been really lucky. Um, I've stayed friends with almost everyone that I've kind of worked with. Um, and obviously, you know, Claire was on H2O and she's on was on Vampire Diaries and the originals. Um, but, you know, to, I can't, it's like picking your favorite child. Everyone, I love everyone on, on both those shows. But on the originals, it's definitely fun. Sorry, Paul, but your boyfriend, Daniel Gillies, is a lot of fun to work with on set. Um, yeah, he's probably the, the, the most kind of fun person, just because he's always trying to make you laugh in scenes when you're trying to be really serious. Um, but yeah, I've been lucky. Everyone, I've been close with everyone I've worked with so and far. Who don't you like? But if, if you ask me who I don't like, okay, well, no, I don't, I, 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 I like everybody. <laughs> oh, okay. oh. Um, I'm afraid you're not gonna answer my question. <laughs> I you earlier. Um, Did you I, yell? Daniel Gillies. I was the one said that. Oh, I see. Um, I've been a fan of yours since Fallen, and I was wondering if there's. I thought I was the only one who remembered. I was wondering if there was any uh, behind-the-scenes stories you had from that. Um. Well, you know, Brian Cranston from <coughs> Breaking Bad. Um, this was before Breaking Bad. He was. Um, um, just on, I think, Malcolm in the Middle, he came on and played my dad, uh, who was the devil, and um, I, uh, it was, I don't have any behind the scenes things other than the fact that like it was so surreal when Brian became this like, you know, he's like immortalized in Breaking Bad. He's like, he's like the sort of, I don't know, he had like the role that everyone, like the, the, the best possible role on television in the history of television. Um, and it was very cool for me to be like, oh yeah, that guy played my dad. That's like my, my claim to fame right there. <laughs> play pranks on each other all the time. Uh, they're um, just flirting with each they're other. They're just flirting with each other. But I, I mean, I'm sure you've heard the story that uh, Joe banged into Daniel's car as a joke, but it actually really hit his car and he had to go get it fixed. <laughs> because they kept um, parking in each other's car spot spaces and then they'd park really close to each other so that the other person couldn't get out at the end of the day. It was like the worst prank ever. And then I think one of them actually ended up just taking it too far and really getting too close to the car and scratching the whole side of, I think, Daniel's Jeep. <laughs> Which, yeah, I think I ended the jokes for a while. Yeah. One time, um, I wasn't, I didn't, I actually wasn't on set, but I heard it was fantastic. Um, uh, there's this, Ian used to model when he was a kid. And um, there's this one photo of Ian. He's like shirtless, and he's like, the camera's like from behind, and he's like this. <laughs> and like, one, my, my, one of our DPs made a t-shirt of Ian <laughs> and had everybody on the crew wear it. <laughs> everybody showed up to set wearing Ian Summerholder shirts. <laughs> and he was really confused. <laughs> I was, that's, that's the only thing I can think of. This is Kira. 
Right? Yeah. All right. You met before. Oh, wow. Aww. How's it going? Hi, my name is Kira. This question's for Phoebe. What's it like to be a mermaid? <laughs> That's cute. Wow. The best part about being a mermaid is that when you go swimming with the dolphins, they don't really think you're a human, they think you're a fish. So they swim next to you, they let you play with them. They, we used to um, hold on to their fins and swim with the dolphins. Um, they really were unaffected and it was so cool. It was like the closest, I don't know, to actually feeling like you do live underwater because all these animals would come up and so close to you and just kind of look at you very curiously and then just swim off in a different direction. So. It was just really fun to be able to do that and to be able to really get up close with all these animals that, you know, I think in any other situation would be uh, either trying to eat you or uh, swim away from you. <laughs> Sorry guys, we just have time for one more question. Hi, I'm Jelena, and my question is for Paul. Um, how do you feel about Steriline? It sounds like a pharmaceutical drug. Well, I just thought, I didn't know it was anything if different. If I was ill and I needed an mm -hmm. antibiotic, I would I probably it. go for the Steriline. <laughs> um, also sounds like it could be a good cocktail. Uh, and I feel good about that. 